Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampath, you're watching Sampath SamFX YouTube channel and this is Redmi Note 7 Pro custom ROM release Proton Plus version Android version is 13 here. You can see here this is Android version 13 build. Let me disable the automatic brightness sensor and this is the quick settings panel you get. In the edit options you get some of the other options you can see on the screen here. And app active status you can see from here. And settings panel you can directly move from here. Yeah, you guys can see 13.3 EOL official version and September 1st is the latest security patch is available. It's October but still we are getting with September build. Only build date is the latest one hence we are getting September build and 4.14.215 Azure Pixel Plus kernel has been used. This is Proton Plus TM QPR3 and 13 based ROM with September security patch. And this is the typical home screen you get. This is a quick settings panel proper quick settings panel has been given if you press and hold here you get home settings this is the launcher you get recent apps customization app drawer customization home screen customization and wallpapers and styles if you are going to change wallpapers you get live wallpapers and on device wallpaper this is an android 14 style we'll be getting very soon regarding that in order to get android 14 based custom rooms for this redmi note 7 pro subscribe to my channel and also Give it a like guys and also do comment down below which particular ROM you are waiting for Redmi Note 7 Pro based on Android 14 and this is the dialer you get or uh, direct video call feature is available in this ROM and call recording feature is available and system here you get a gestures system navigation gesture navigation and there is no option to increase or decrease just you need to enable or disable the gesture bar from here this typical one you get and this aqua battery let me enable that yeah discharging and all you can see here there's a current uh, scenario what you can see it would have been turned before in order to get more idea about that camera you get a just basic camera i know you guys know how to uh, install them in the flash or install the gcam port the basic gcam port are available arno one is my favorite let me know in the comment section guys what is your favorite gcam port and safety net status here it will get passed yeah both basic integrity and status profile match will get passed you can use all the payment applications like google pay phone pay all are going to work fine files manager is pre-installed fm radio is pre-installed here camera i said again front you can use advanced gcam ports are available for redmi note 7 pro anti to benchmark results you can see here even you can see the app opening time which is little bit fast 3 lakh 12905 is the score and temperature raise was 0.8 degree celsius and 5 percentage of battery has been decreased during this center testing of anti to benchmark results which is quite good let me also show the uh, battery charging status you can see when i connected uh, 28 percent it was around 12 23 pm and it is showing full in 23 i mean three hours again i back here at 12 49 it was 42 percent on charging full in three hours full in three hours is a bug i can say but overall the battery charging speeds are very good in this particular room and this is a hundred threat test guys cpu throttling test results you can see the maximum is 169 and average is 157 and minimum is 138 and it's throttled to 89 percent of its max performance everything is green no yellow red lines here which is quite interesting in this particular rom and this is the geekbench score 643 is the single score and 1655 is the multi score and again the kernel linux 4.14.215 azure pixel plus kernel and android 13 here uh, this is the results what i got which is quite interesting and quite good if i go into settings this is how the settings panel the smoothness in the ui everywhere in the ui is available this is a 60 hertz panel but still the smoothness is quite very good in this particular rom accessibility menu you will get it it's a handy feature just turn it on without actually using the physical buttons of volume you can access them even brightness toggle and other settings you can see on the screen security and privacy you get face fingerprint unlock let me show that also just tap yeah yeah it's it's getting unlocked it's not accurate yeah it's now accurate just tap it's get unlocked again just tap yeah little bit accuracy you mean to uh, i mean you mean to give two to three samples then it will be fine now face unlock let me show that also 
yeah it is also a little bit delay again you need to give more samples then it will be more faster than what you are seeing here this is the results i got and wallpaper sun style again i already shown this let me see dark theme whether you get any options yeah pure black option is given here just enable that in order to make it pitch black condition everywhere as you can see now it is in pitch black condition just enable this pure black option in order to get the pitch black condition in the display settings again you get tap to wake and tap to sleep is given colors you can adjust the rgb strength from here battery i am not happy with the battery life as you can see but battery charging speeds are very good maybe i need to do ca battery calibration even you can do that and it's been old device guys once you can replace the battery and check out if you are not getting very good battery life it's a 4000 mAh typical lcd screen and all maybe you can get 4 to 5 hours of screen time that's more than enough in my open if you play continuously bjm kind of games then it would be 3 hours max for me at least i don't know if you're getting very good then let me know in the comment section guys let's see that bjm only before that we'll be showing the sound settings i want to show that yeah where it is yeah sound and vibration you can see here vibration and haptics again you get all the options you can enable or disable from here touch sounds and other things you can do that notification sound other things are related to pixel kind of device here display also i shown this these are the things you get in this rom let's see by bjm what are the graphics settings and how it handles in this particular proton plus rom you guys can see the graphic settings is just smooth plus ultra 40 fps only but it is smooth here in order to play the games like bjm if you want to enable up to 60 fps you can do that using magix models but as of now it's fine here I don't think so you should still use this uh, smartphone for gaming but still it's playable definitely better than uh, budget phones as of now today also this is Snapdragon 675 still it's capable to handle these kind of games in medium to high settings as you can see that's how it is handling battery life is a little bit disappointed maybe because of too many days i need to just uh, change the battery life i mean the battery sorry not the battery life then it would have been better in my opinion it is smooth actually the gameplay the performance of the rom is really really good i really liked it customization could have been better the gesture bar and other things but overall this rom is quite interesting and very good in my opinion and ram management also i haven't faced any issues or anything like that this how the proton plus rom available for redmi note 7 pro stay tuned till the i mean stay tuned to my channel you will be getting other uh, android 14 based roms very soon to redmi note 7 pro in order to get that subscribe to my channel and also follow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like we'll meet you with another interesting video guys until that keep smiling bye bye for now